Sure. Um, all right, so let's talk about, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do the Green Lantern news first, because I feel like a lot of people want to talk about that. So let me... Uh, let's recycle first. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, so there is a Green Lantern fan thingy that's going around um, that I haven't seen, but people are saying that it looks really good. The Green Lantern fan movie i guess is what it is I, i'll look it up here in a second um has anybody seen that yet have any of y'all seen that no no the latest one i, I saw was a logan one i think i saw a photo so like um, him in the open or something i don't know i haven't seen it so i have to look it up we'll look it up after this while we're talking about this i guess um so green lantern damon lindelof and ozark showrunner chris mundy joined the dc tv series and this is for the tv show um, DC Studios co-CEO James Gunn broke the news on Saturday. It says here that Emmy-winning Lost and Watchmen creator Damon Lindelof is joining James Gunn's DC Universe. The acclaimed writer has been added to the team that will bring a Green Lantern TV show to life alongside Ozark showrunner Chris Mundy and Tom King. Gunn revealed uh, this on Saturday. They say, yes, it's true. Um, he's in the middle of the Superman reboot, which is getting a lot of traction online for people not liking the suit. Um, <laughs> a previous iteration of the Green Lantern TV series was in the work before Guns and Peter Safran took over DC. That version was created by Greg Berlanti and had a Finn Whitrock lined up for starring role. So this one is definitely not that. Um, it says the new show will focus on how Jordan and Jon Stewart and plays a really big role leading into the main story we're telling across our film and TV, television universe. So it's a very important show for us. It's really weird to me, before we talk about this in detail, it's really weird to me that Marvel has kind of learned their lesson about like trying to make the tv stuff work in movies like they're going out of their way now to like say oh this is marvel television this is marvel animation this is marvel films or whatever they learned their lesson because they tried that with a couple of the movies and the marvels told them that financially it's not a good idea to tie everything so closely together between streaming shows and and movies and it feels like dc is gonna make that mistake again with i, I feel like they're gonna make the mistake that marvel's already learned um that people don't necessarily care about them being so directly connected. Loosely connected is fine, but directly connected, it seems like people have an issue with it. This was people screaming for Daredevil to be in the Avengers. And that might have worked. I mean, throwing a character into a team as just a character on the team might have worked. But when you have a movie where the three headlining characters are from three different portions of that studio, seem to be a failed plan. Um, so having Hal and John on the TV show is a little interesting to me. Like, I'm curious to what that means for the movies. So what are y'all's thoughts on this? Um, I think it's kind of like it, they have to do it the right, basically they, they uh, Marvel did it the wrong way uh, with, for instance, uh, uh, Falcon and the winter soldier, that whole story. And we're, we're still waiting for the captain America four movie. There is mm. like a big gap. So yeah. They, yeah, they need to figure out if it needs to be like quick, like streaming, boom, movie. Stream, basically, so ba like, basically, basically the same year that the show comes out, that's the same mm -hmm. year the movie needs to come out. Because otherwise, yep. people don't want to go back like three years to watch something that's going to directly yep. connect to a movie. Yeah. Okay. But like, how are you going to do that and have such a wide, varied universe and just... Um, unless you're going to have just the A-listers with their own movie and you're just going to have B and C-listers just there, just just to fill up space? My um, Also, my concern for... Uh, um, because James Gunn said games are also connected. I don't think that's ever going to happen, though. Yeah, like, my, my concern... <laughs> if, if they ever do that, my concern is how are they going to reference those games? They're not going to. That's the thing. That that basically, yeah. Look, I mean, the, the tying games into stuff has been done over the year. It's better to have a loosely connected game that that promotes the film or the TV show than it is to try and tie the game into the film or TV show. And what Darth was saying about like the like having the TV actors, the the disparity between like a TV actor and a movie actor, and how you make that work or how you make that make sense. Um, that does become quite interesting because if you look at Falcon and Winter Soldier, that is a show just like with Loki where the lead characters came from the movies. You know what I mean? Or and like with WandaVision, those characters came from the movies. So sticking them into a TV show and then bringing them back into the movies, that seems like a more seamless 
transition than a mm-hmm. character that's introduced in a TV show and then put into a movie. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, look at Loki, for example. Like, yeah. And like, you understand like why certain things are happening like that. So, I mean, I don't know. This is probably a wait and see and just see how it plays out. Um, I'm concerned this, though. I think DC, this might be a bad idea. I think yeah, I'm not the biggest idea. fan of them doing sort of, yeah, like how like Marvel stepping away from that because like you've got to have, I mean, if Marvel can't do it, do you expect the DC? You do? Because, and I think I might've said this to you last, or whenever it was when we last talked, Mm-hmm. I, I don't think the DCU is going to have a fandom. You mean you mean like the like the DCEU fan group? Is that what you're talking about? Like that, not even that. that just in regards to a fandom that will sit there and they'll watch every single project like a consistent amount, mm-hmm. or at least the majority of them. I just don't think there's going to be that fandom. I think, and it's mainly just because, you know, and I know you might disagree, but at least with the MCU, I don't know if you can disagree. But it was all it was all sort of the same. You know, it wasn't the same stories and stuff, but it was all that same feel. Mm-hmm. James going to say that's not going to be the case with this. Like, it's gonna right, right. So you're going to have like player. Swamp Thing, which is like a horror movie, and then you're going to have like Superman, which is like a family movie. So it's yeah. going to be very different types of films. Uh, anyway, so the Green Lantern show sounds to me like it could be exciting. It could be fun. It oh, be it's interesting to see. It's many. my it's my number one most anticipated. I think it's going to be mad. It's just I don't know like how it's going to work into the fold because Gunn had said like, oh, it's like this major thing for what they're planning to do, whether it's like, you know, a centerpiece or just tease up. Mm. Like, we don't know. That's obviously either the waiting here down the road or when we actually watch the show. Yeah. But like, I pretty much love all of Damon Lindelof stuff. Like, Leftovers is epic. Um, And I like what he did with Watchmen and everything like that. So I'm excited to see. I haven't watched Ozark, so I don't know about the Mundy dude. Um, But all of Lindelof's shows, I think, are great. So... Him being involved is a good sign. And also just, I, I like the, I know you said about like having like Hal Jordan and John Stewart in the show. I prefer that if that's just the entry point into the Green Lantern thing. That was my worry about the Belanti show. But I always think the Belanti concept, I think sounds better than what we know so far about this show. Like I love what they were playing with that Belanti show. It was like anthology sort of stuff. Mm. I thought that would have been really, really cool to see. I didn't like the fact that we were dealing with all these lands, but we didn't have either Hal Jordan or John Stewart involved. Yeah, initially, and they, they were going to hold them over for the movies. I think, right? Wasn't it that the make, yeah, movie? it makes sense now uh, uh, because Guy Garner is Green Lantern too. So for him to be Green Lantern, there would have to be Hal and George. Uh, Hal oh and yeah, Hal. yeah, absolutely. So this is the suit from the Green Lantern fan film that people seem to think looks really good. Thoughts on Injustice. this? Injustice. Injustice. I mean, does it look good? I mean, to be honest. It, not really. <laughs> it doesn't it look like bad. That. It, does it looks, look it looks it does fine. Look like it looks fine for like a fan film or something, or something like that. But anyone that's going, oh my god, this should be the baby suit. Quindle, like this is being nice. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, like, it's, 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 it looks like it's okay made for Power Rangers. For a thing, like it looks no. like he's wearing. <laughs> Uh, it Anthony like says that it's power. good. It's, yeah. Anthony says that Green Lantern costume is good. For a uh, fan film, it's for really a fan good. film. For a fan film, it's good. For a yeah. For a Stranger says the suit looks good, but else. the mask looks stupid. Is that a fair statement or? I think just the upper half, like the like as soon as it gets green, it doesn't look very good. But like he's wearing a bicycle, like a bike outfit for motorcycling, and then like spray painted some tin foil green and solidified it somehow and then just whacked the mask on he looks like he's wearing padding uh hockey padding (laughs) 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 nice Nice. as a dark knight reference (laughs) no he looks he looks like a a giant seatbelt cover (laughs) thank you looks like something you put on your seatbelt yeah uh, i um the, so if you look at it, like if you just take off the top part and look at the bottom half, it looks a lot like some of the early CW suits, you know, the way they were made with the uh, padding and stuff. And then the top half, I don't know, is it supposed to be metal? It looks a little um, like It just shiny. looks like shimmery fabric, like stitched on. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, there's another picture here. Hold on, let me see. There's the picture from the boots and so you can see the boots and stuff on that one still not liking it 
Still not doing anything for y'all? Didn't know. I mean, it's okay. No, there's too I much mean... space in, like, in the legs. There needs to be a bit what, more green. What is this for as well? Why are they rocking like... <laughs> Where? Like, what is this? Like, what is it's it? Just, is it? It's a fan film. Like, is it like a fan funded film? I do film? have to like, say, like, um, there there's, there's what it looks like. They are. Is that meant to be Sinestro on the left of. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it has just to be, right? Sinestro Otherwise, it's an unfortunate sunburn. Yeah. Just um, like Sinestro. <laughs> just specific. And, uh, two yeah. people over from um, from Green Lantern. That's supposed to be Canada Graphs. I don't know if you can tell or not. Like uh, is that the one with the or, Jurassic Park, or the one with the yeah, the yeah, park? no, 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 the other yeah. one, the other side with the shorts on, the black shorts. That's uh, that's Canada Graphs. He was taking okay. pictures. Oh, shit. Just kidding. I didn't say any <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's not really. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> he's oh, wow. he's oh. not the droids you're looking for, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, eh? oh my god! Oh my god! I wish he was here. I wish he was here so he could have heard me say that. That was so funny. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, wow. Don't tell me you fell for it. I know. Yeah. I, I if I get one yeah. out of three people to fall for it, I feel like it's a success. So. <laughs> 